Obviously, we have some happy people with us today, and before we're through, some of them are going to be a whole lot happier. Here we go. Here's the first item up for bids, and the price is right. It's comfortable outdoor furniture. <laughs> Samsonite's body glove outdoor furniture. Cool, comfortable, contemporary. That's the irresistible appeal of this carefree furniture that fits your body like a glove. Body glove from Samsonite, and to the winner of this furniture, Goes happy eating from the Colonel with a supply of finger licking good Kentucky Fried Chicken and a special insulated bag to keep things fresh. It's nice to feel so good about a meal. I would like to have y'all bid in dollars on that because we round off our retail prices to the nearest dollar. Sabrina, I would like to have you bid first. Five twenty. Five hundred and twenty dollars. Lori, what do you bid on that prize? Mm. Four ten. She bids four ten. How about it, Serena? Uh, $375. $375. And here is Louise. $450. $450 is her bid. The actual retail price of that prize is $575. And Sabrina has that prize. Therefore, Sabrina will play the first pricing game on today's show. Right up here, Sabrina. Thank you very much, Sabrina. Now I wonder, what could she win next? Let's see. Ice cream parlor chair. From Carmel Plastics, an old-fashioned idea transposed into clear acrylite for a turn-of-the-century look in modern living. A posted in white vinyl from Carmel Plastics. Or a new car! The all-new Buick Skylark, designed for comfort, convenience, with front-wheel drive, providing impressive control and traction from Buick. The options include tinted glass, door edge guards, remote mirrors, white wall tires, bumper strips and guards, and automatic transmission. Okay, Bob? Sabrina, I hope you are good with numbers, because we are going to play the any number game. You may end up with the money in the piggy bank. That's the worst thing that could happen to you. You may win those chairs, or you may win that car. It depends on which one of the prices you light up first. Give me a number and we'll light it up wherever it is. Six. Number six. Let us have that six. There it is. Give me another number. Um, one. Number one. Gentlemen, light up that one. Very good, Sabrina. Give me another number. Eight. Number eight. Here comes that eight. Sabrina. Sabrina, let me tell you something. Never, never in the history of the any number game have I had a contestant light up this, 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 and this. Let's make this a first. What's that last number? Uh, zero. She says it's a zero. Light up that zero. Oh, that's down there in the chair. Give me another number. Nine. Now she wants the nine. Where is that nine? That's down in the piggy. Four. Number four. Gentlemen, where is that four? Now, Sabrina, you're going to have to be careful or you'll win nine dollars and forty some cents. Now, we want that number. Six. Number six. No, you've given me the six. Five. Number five. She wants the five, and here is the five. 
Well, this is it. Now you have only one spot here, one spot here, and one spot here. Let's think positively and give me another number. Ten, ten, ten. Number two. Here's that two. Boy, she was off to a record-breaking performance, and then I thought she was going to lose that car. We'll be back with another game after we have this message. John, will you please announce the name of our next participant? A pleasure, Bob Barker. Meet Orville Long. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Friday Race. Right. I like your style. You don't run, you prance down there. You do jog in there, Bob. Here you are, and coming around on that turntable <laughs> is the next item up for bids, and the price is right. It's a computer backgammon game. <laughs> From Clown Incorporated, the Gammon Master 2 for beginners, and the Gammon Master 2 doubler with electronic doubling cube, an ideal game for the advanced backgammon player. Exciting fun for everyone from Tryon Incorporated. Orville, you're the first bidder. Uh, 34, Bob. 34 means what? 34 dollars. 34 dollars. All right, Lori, what's your bid? Uh, what's your bid, 400. Lori? 400 dollars. Serena? 250. 250 for Serena and for Louise. 251. 251 is her bid. The actual retail price is 317 dollars, and Louise has won. Louise has won. Game. Right over here on my left. Thank you very much. Got my first kiss here. Got my second kiss here. Now let's see what she can win, please. A microwave oven, a dinette set, a grandfather clock, and a color TV. First from Gibson, a microwave oven with digital timer, default setting, solid state variable power control. And Gibson's Tempest Sensor Cooking Probe gives you dependable, cool, clean, fast-paced cooking. Second, Quasar's trim, contemporary-looking 19-inch color TV with a new Dynabrite 2-in-line picture tube, sharpness and tone controls, and automatic color control system from Quasar. Next, from Chromecraft, the table is oak butcher block melamine with extension and double pedestal chrome base. The four chairs have vinyl upholstered seats and hand-woven mesh cane backs from Chromecraft. And finally, Hamilton's Oak Mod, a classic grandfather clock in solid oak and matched veneers featuring triple chimes and an eight-day weight and chain-driven movement from Hamilton Watch Company. There they are, Bob. Louise, here they are right here on this board. Microwave oven, dinette, clock, color TV. Two of those prizes total $1,152 in price. You tell us which two they are. We'll give you all four prizes. Uh, the grandfather clock. And what? And, uh... The TV. Very well. She says it is the grandfather clock, which is 820, and the color television, which is $500 for a total of 1320. That is not right. But you get another chance. You can take the microwave oven and the dinette, or you can keep one of these two prizes and take one of these two. What do you want to do? Uh, the dinette. And what? And the clock. Okay, we'll close up the color television. She's going to stick with the clock, which is 820. She's going to take the dinette, and it is 652 for a total of 1472. You should have kept, you, take, you took the dinette, that was right, and you should have kept the color television instead of the clock. Then you would have had 1152, that's right. Mm -hmm. Louise, I am sorry that this had to happen to you. Thank you for being on The Price is Right today. And we will be back to play game number three after these words. Now, Johnny Olson, do you have another contestant for us? I do, Bob Barker, and it's Judy Boers. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Friday Race. Hello, Judy. Hello. 
Hello. Judy, you are not only a soldier, you are a sergeant, aren't you? Yes, sir. A sergeant. Listen, Judy, if you got up here on stage and you won a prize, would you give me a kiss? Yes, sir. Because I've never had a kiss from a sergeant. <laughs> it would be pretty exciting stuff. I'd like that, Judy. Here is the next item up for bids and the price is right. It's a handy dishwasher. The KitchenAid superb affordable dishwasher converts to a built-in when remodeling a building. Special soap cycle, energy saver, hardwood cutting board top from KitchenAid. Sergeant Judy gets to bid first on that. $599. $599 is her bid in Orville. What do you bid? Uh, $350, Bob. $350, Lori. $315. $315. Serena. $400. $400 for her. The actual retail price of that prize is $600, and Judy has won that prize. She missed that price only $1. $599 was her bid, and six and I'm got my kiss from a sergeant. You know, I like kissing sergeants. That's kind of fun, Judy. Now, we're going to play the high-low game. See all those products there? Yes, sir. I am going to ask you to pick out the three highest priced products on that counter. But before I do that, I'm going to ask Johnny to tell you about the products on that counter. We'll do Bob first. Sell us chocolate covered cherries, pure chocolate shell, luscious real fruit cherry, and 100% liquid center. Sell us chocolate covered cherries. Dr. Show's Thermocushion and Dr. Show's Sheep Wool Fleece Winter Insoles keep your feet warmer and drier on cold, damp days. Baraxo waterless or powdered hand cleaners, they take on the dirtiest hands. Tough but gentle, Baraxo cleans all hands in the family. Moisturize dry skin while you bathe with Capri emollient bath oil. Capri puts back the natural oils and moisture dry skin can't afford to lose. Victor's vapor cough drops are strong, they soothe your scratchy throat, cool your stuffy nose, help relieve your cough. Victor's the nose, throat, and cough drop. And a man-sized seafood dinner for hearty appetites. Two white meat fish fillets and light batter with potato flakes from Brilliant of Boston. Bob? Now, Judy, I want you to pick out the three highest-priced products on the counter. What's your work in the Army, Judy? Military police. You're a military policeman or yes. policewoman or yes. police person, or, are you? Yes. What, <laughs> what kind of training did you have to have? You know, I've never been kissed by a military policeman either. Give me another kiss over here, Judy. Thank you very much. Now, what, what training... That applause was started by a criminal on the third row down there. What kind of training did you have? Did you, did you have to learn judo or jujitsu or karate or what to be a military police person? Lots of training. Well, what kind, really? Oh, military, oh, went to military school. We were confinement facilities, prisons. Oh, I see. So you have to learn to open and shut the door. Yes. I understand, Judy. All right, I shall not press for details, because this is a fun show, and we don't want any doors locked around here. Now, if you pick out the three highest-priced products on that counter, Judy, we are going to open some doors. Don't need a key, though. All I have to do is say, open those doors. A new bedroom group. From Bales Furniture, a king-size platform chest trunk bed, hardwood overlaid with hand-laid butcher block style rosewood, six drawers, trunk, and lighted footboard. Includes matching three-door chests from Bales Furniture. And for a designer's look, this beautiful bedspread. <laughs> from Adam and Designers, this beautiful custom design fitted velvet bedspread with pillow shams, features hand-style quality, the luxurious Codel fill from Adam and Designer. And for a great night's sleep, this mattress set from Sideguard International, the all-new Sideguard de Elegance set, featuring an exclusive patented channel flange construction. The set is designed for years of healthful sleeping comfort from Sideguard International. It's a prize package worth $3,347. What is one of the three highest priced products on that time? The uh, cough drop. The cough drops right down here are 79 cents. Ooh, that one worries me. What is another one of the three highest priced products? The bath oil. The bath oil uh, right here is uh, 269. Now, there were some people moaning about that one. I'll bet that is one of the three highest priced. Now, what? Braxo. Braxo. How much is it? 65 cents. Oh, that's, I just can't believe she's won this time. Let's see. 
has to be less than 65 cents. It is a dollar 14. And how much were the other two? Where are the other two? Right here. That's 209. And this one is a dollar 69. Well, Judy, I'm sorry that you didn't win the game, but you'll be back to spin the big wheel. Okay? Bye-bye. And she won't have to wait around, either, because we're going to spin that big wheel immediately following this message. After catastrophe befell her in the high-low game, Judy has taken off her jacket. She's getting down to business now. No more fooling around. Eloise, step over there and spin that wheel. I've been calling you Louise. I didn't see the E on your name because your little uh, scarf was over it there. Eloise, if you get a thousand or one dollar, we're going to give you a thousand dollars in a bonus spin. But you didn't. You got sixty-five cents. Now you can spin again or stop. I'll stop. All right. You are going to stop on sixty-five cents. If you are the contestant nearest to one dollar without going over, you will be in the showcase. Judy, spin that wheel. Spin that wheel, Judy, and try to beat sixty-five cents and stay in this game. In your first spin, it looks as if you might have about 65 cents. No, 30 cents, huh? Spin it again. Spin it again, but don't go over a dollar total. Spin it again, Judy. It sounds like a song title. 30 cents in your first spin, and we're going to add maybe 50 cents to that. Oh, dollar <laughs> fifty. Judy, thank you for being with us today. Come on, Sabrina, let's see what you can do with that wheel. Got to beat 65 cents. And Sabrina has spun the wheel. And Sabrina, I see. Hey, look at this. Look at this. 80 cents. That's good enough for the showcase. You don't want to spend any more, do you? No, 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 no. She will be in our showcase today. But we have more pricing games for you. And we'll play them after we show you this. Here is Smiling Johnny with something to say. Fran Karens, come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize. Right. Out of that seat and in the contestant's row in one bound. She is ready and so are we. Let's see the next item up for bids, please. A new sailboat. This is the Sunflower by Snark. It carries two adults or four children, weighs only 45 pounds. Easily transportable, the Sunflower by Snark Products Incorporated. Fran, will you bid on that first, please? $7.95. $7.95. Or, well, what do you bid? $6.50. $650, and it's Lori. $7.40. $740. Serena? $6.75. She bids $6.75, and you have all overbid. Now, the lowest price that we have is $650. Fran, erase these bids, please. Fran, you must bid lower than, what did I say? $650. Lower than $650. $490. $490. And, Orville, what do you say? Uh, I'd say, I'd say $400. $400. Lori? $460. $460. Serena? $365. $365. If, <laughs> if I seem a little preoccupied <laughs> and I forgot the lowest bid, it's because, you know, I always have these bids in my pocket here. And when I reached in there to pull this out, I pulled the bid out of the envelope, too. So I'm trying to be unconcerned up here and not let you see the bid. And I did so well that not only did you not see it, you bid and bid and overbid and didn't get it right. And now we're ready to find out. Are you interested in all of my problems? Or are you absolutely no interest whatsoever all right the actual retail you see it was in my pocket and when i well i'll go on now the i already have it out of the envelope you see i'm ready one of you's one you know it is the one well no it isn't you didn't bid exactly right did you you overbid once didn't you but uh where are we now oh i was going to announce a price yes yeah. the actual retail price is 499 dollars the winner is Fran. Fran is the winner come up here to this giant price tag with me. Thank you, Fran. Now, Fran, do you know what I was trying to explain there? Uh, no. Well, that isn't important. <laughs> that isn't important. The thing that's important is that you can win that prize. A new pool table. <laughs> a 
Three and a half by seven billiard table, handcrafted by Murray and Sons. Elegance in the art of billiards, slate top antique design from Murray. Now, to win that prize, all you have to do is remove the right number from this series of numbers. By that, I mean the four, the two, or the nine should be removed. The remaining numbers will squeeze together. And if that's the price of that prize, you win that prize. Now, which one do you want out of there, the four, the two, or the nine? The two. She wants that two out of there, and that two is stuck. <laughs> is out of... Well, I'll swear, nothing's going right today. The envelopes are we're not working, the twos are... Oh, I think it's going to blow up. My nine has tilted, and I insist on neatness. There. There. All right. Now, <laughs> if it's fourteen ninety-five, you win. The actual retail price is fourteen ninety-five. Fourteen hundred and ninety-five dollars. Oh, good going. And there's more prices right coming up. Stay tuned for more question games and the fabulous showcases coming up. On the second half of the prize is right. Where is our next contestant, John? Where, where, where? Somewhere in the audience is Francis Singletary. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize is right. Howdy, Francis. That's your spot. And here comes the next item up for bids on our show. Look it over. It's a bamboo rolling bar. From Maurice Duchin Incorporated, opened, it becomes a portable bar or buffet server, yet folds together for stories. Three tempered glass shells for serving accessories rolls easily from Maurice Duchin Incorporated. Francis, what do you bid on the rolling bar? $350. $350, and now it is Orville's bid. $375. $375 brings us to Lori. $420. $420, and here is Serena. $300. $300. The actual retail price is $360, and the winner is Francis. Oh! oh, by all means, thank you very much. That's the best kiss I've had since I kissed a military policeman, woman. Oh. Now we want you to win that. A new piano! Oh. Dorian Clark's elegant piano, traditionally a fine musical instrument. Made for many years of enjoyment, distinctive cabinetry, and bright full console tone from Story and Clark. And it's a prize worth $2,195. Now, Francis, I am going to ask you the prices of three prizes. If you do not miss those prices by more than $25, you will win that beautiful prize I just showed you. Because our little friend can go up there 25 steps without falling, and if he doesn't fall, you're a winner. Now, the three prizes that I am talking about are right here. Listen. First, Beacon Thermal Blanket lets you warm up the natural way with a blanket for all seasons. 100% cotton, easy care from Beacon Thermal Blanket. Second, one pair of Vitality shoes for women, famous for fashion and fit, flexible and genuinely kind to your feet, Vitality from International Shoe Company. And third, the Kodak Colorburst 50 Instant Camera. It automatically delivers a sharp, clear picture with color by Kodak, and there's nothing to focus. Francis, how much is that blanket? Oh. Only the blanket. $29.95. $29.95 will not be acceptable because we round off our retail oh, oh. prices to the okay, nearest dollar. Do you want $29 or $30? $29. $29. Is that right? No, it's not. Watch that mountain climber. He'll move one step for every dollar you miss the price of the blanket. You missed the price of the blanket at least $5. Six. Six dollars isn't bad. How much is it? It's $35. How much are the shoes? I'd say $45. $45. Is that right? Oh, no, it's not. He's up to 10. He can go $25 safely, 25 steps safely. He's up to 15. I'm getting very worried, Francis. I am too. He's up to 18. Francis, do you suppose he's going over that cliff? 
Miss... Oh, stop. Thank goodness. How much are the shoes? $30. Now, Francis, he's sitting up there safely on 21 He can go 22 23 24 and 25 You have to be very close to the retail price of that camera in order to win that piano. Don't miss it by more than $4. How much is it? $59. $59. Is that right? No, it isn't. One, two, three. One more step is okay, but no more. Oh, he's gone. How much is the camera? $45. Francis, thank you for playing cliffhanger. Bye-bye. We'll be back to play another game for you after these words. Now, listen, Orville, there is a little ripple going through the audience now. There is a certain amount of enthusiasm for you among the ladies in our audience. And think of that. Why do you suppose the Goyles like you so much, Orville? Someone says because he's cute. Yes. Thank you. That guy up there likes you, Orville. <laughs> no, it was distinctly a lady. It was a lady's voice. But, Orville, have you always been popular with the girls? Yeah. Now, I, Orville, I don't, don't know what don't, to say. Now, listen, don't be modest. Be honest. Have you always been? No. You have not? I'm surprised. You look like a lover to me, Orville. Are you married or single? Not married. You're married? How long have you been married? Uh, about 39 years. About 39. Okay, think back 39 years. Before you were married... That's a long time to go. What? That's a long time. You can't remember anything yes, before you were married. All right, wasn't there at least one or perhaps two girls who were brokenhearted when you married the girl you married? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll accept that answer from his wife. Was that your yeah, wife? Sure. Right? <laughs> that was the girl who was broken hearted. Yeah. John, let's not break hearts. Let's make somebody hap, hap, happy. All right, Bob, how about Keith Sam? Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Crazy Run. Howdy, Keith. How you doing? Did we make you hap, hap, happy? Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> okay. Now, we want to see the next item up for bids in this show, and it is right down there among you. It's a beautiful lady's watch. <laughs> Elegant Fenris watch featuring 32 sparkling diamonds, Italian mesh bracelets, 17 jewel movement. It's from the Fenris Watch Company. And, Keith, I'm going to give you the first bid on that. $795. $795 is his bid, and Orville, what do you bid? Uh, $600. $600. Lori? $580. $580. And Serena? $800. $800. You've all overbid. The lowest bid that I have is $500 or $580. I beg your pardon. Erase these bids, please. Go lower than $580, Keith. $360. $360. Orville? Orville? Four fifty. Four hundred and fifty dollars, Lori. Three twenty. Three hundred and twenty dollars, and now Serena. What's the lowest bid? The lowest bid thus far is three twenty. And the highest? How much? What's the highest? The the lowest bid is three twenty. <laughs> the highest bid is four fifty, and the itty bitty mini size bid is three sixty. Uh, three twenty five. $325. Do you know, Laura, you and Serena are both among the first four contestants, are you not? All of our winners have come from this spot down here or this spot over here. Now, the actual retail price of that prize is $500 and Orville has won. Orville, the ladies man, has won that prize. Orville, you done did it. Nice well, every single day I'm retired and I watch you every day. That's the nicest nice thing I can hear, Orville, and it's a pleasure meeting you. Okay. And after that nice remark, I'd sure like to give you that. A new car! <laughs> the car of the year for a team of your life with four-cylinder engine, front-wheel drive, steel-belted radial tires, and four-speed transmission. The Renault Le Car and... If you win this car, you'll also receive Page Alert Silent Car Alarm. Four-watt transmitter sends a five-mile radio signal to your personal beeper, warning of theft in progress. The Page Alerts. 
And may we have the dice out here for Orville. Orville, if you watch the show every day, I'll bet you've seen the dice game, haven't you? Just keep in mind that there are no zeros in the price of that car, and there are no numbers in the price of that car higher than six. No sevens, eights, or nines. And no zeros. With that in mind, I want you to take that first die. I want you to roll it over this line, and I'd sure like to see you roll the first number in the price of the car. He has rolled a two, is that it? No. Now, is the first number in the price of the car higher or lower than two? Higher. Higher, he says. Okay, Orville, I think you're right. Roll another one and make it the second number in the price of the car. He's rolled a four, is that it? No, it is not. Is the second number in the price of the car higher or lower than four? I think it's higher, Bob. He says it's higher, and on we go. Third number in the price of the car, if you please. Didn't go over the line, Orville. You're a little tired today. Number two, is that it? No. Is the third number in the price of the car higher or lower than two? It's higher, Bob. He believes that it is higher. And, Orville, there is one die left for the fourth number in the price of the car. Hit it. Is it a four? It's a four. Orville got it right. Orville, this looks just like contestants row in that we're doing business with the center two here. By that I mean, well, light it up. I know that first number is higher than two. There's not a car made. In fact, even a toy car, the first number is higher than a two these days. And you have the last number right down here. So if you have this one right, and if you have this one right, you win that car. Light up that second number, please. Oh, Orville, it's down there. You had the third one right. Too bad. Well, it was a good try. Nice to have met you, Orville. Bye-bye. Orville will be back with friends to Kimberly Grill in the second showcase showdown after we have a look at this. Oh, I'm talking with Orville here. What do he do with $11,000 if he should be so fortunate as to win it? He'd travel. What would you do with $11,000, friend? <sighs> I'd, uh, I'd get a new car. That's a good idea. Yeah. How about you, Francis? I'd travel more. You'd travel more. You're mm -hmm. traveling now, but yes. you travel even more. Yes. Well, to get $11,000, you must first get $1 on this wheel. You can do that in one spin or a combination of two spins. Then you get a bonus spin. If the wheel stops in this green section or this green section, you win $5,000 more. If the wheel stops on the $1, then you win $10,000 more for a total of $11,000. Not only that, this wheel spinning takes on great significance in that the one of you who is nearest to $1 without going over is in the showcase. And of course, in the showcase, you can win all sorts of things. For instance, trips for you, trips for you, or a car for you. You wouldn't need the $11,000. Now, Francis, you spin the wheel first. Will you please step over there, grab a couple of handles, and pull, Francis. Very good. Very good. That $1 is going to come around here again. And here it is. Francis, 15 cents. I bet you want to spin again, don't you? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I don't go over a dollar total. 15 cents in her first spin. This is spin number two. 15 cents and 55 cents for a total of 70 cents. 70 cents for Francis. Not a bad score at all. Here comes Orville. Orville has to beat 70 cents. And here's Orville's first spin. Orville, you just might do it. You have 95 cents. You're through spinning, I think. Thank you. Yeah. He doesn't want to spin anymore. Now, Fran, that's what you have to beat if you are going to be a part of the showcase today. Spin that wheel. 95 cents, and here she goes. Uh, we've given away a lot of prizes today, but no money. Is Fran going to take $1,000 off our hands? She has to beat 95 cents. She has 85 cents. Spin that wheel again. Here's her second spin. 85 cents in her first spin. This is spin number two for Fran. She has to beat 95 cents. 85 plus, do we have a tie? We do. Okay, you step over here, Fran. Come on, Orville. We're going to have a spin-off now. 
Each of you will have one spin. Each of you will have one spin. Of course, you can still win $1,000. Orville, in his one spin, has a bout. 70 cents. Back you go. All right, Fran. See if you can beat that 70 cents with just one spin. Fran has to beat 70 cents. Here it goes. Fran has... No, you're not going to do it, are you, Fran? Close, but not enough. Thank you, Fran, for being with us today. Orville, you are the one who will have the other spot in the showcase today, immediately following these words. Sabrina, do you know who is the top winner in the showcase today? Me. You are it, Sabrina. And Orville, you are the runner-up. Now, each of you will have a showcase of beautiful prizes to bid on, and the one of you who bids closer to the retail price of your own showcase without going over will win the showcase. However, if you are the winner, and you are less than $100 away from the retail price of your own showcase, we will have the pleasure of presenting you both showcases. And Sabrina, as the top winner, you may bid on the first showcase, or you may pass the first showcase to Orville and bid on the second. Orville, Sabrina, look at showcase number one. Your showcase contains something for every room in the house. <laughs> and first for the living room, this modular sofa. From Barcolander, the fabulous new concept and modular furniture called the Living End. Both end pieces open to give you two luxurious reclining chairs by Barcolander. It's the Living End. And next for the game room, a home soda fountain. From GA Systems Incorporated, a home soda fountain. Everything you need to dispense your favorite soda, syrups plus carbonated water. With the GA System soda fountain, you can have a ball. And for the kitchen, this refrigerator freezer. <laughs> the three-door Gibson Foodmaster refrigerator freezer with two energy-saving freezer compartments, automatic door closers, and Gibson's exclusive frost-clear system throughout. And finally, for the family room, an unusual cocktail table. It isn't how you play the game, it's what you play it on. And this is the ultimate, covered in genuine goat skin. When closed, it's a stunning cocktail table open and you're ready for a game of backgammon. And this showcase can be yours if the price is right. Sabrina, does this showcase belong to you or does this showcase belong to Orville? Orville. Orville, mm. this is your showcase. Orville, mm. what do you bid on it? Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one, Bob. You can handle I it, Orwell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to go over five. What do you want to bid? I'll say five. Five thousand dollars. That's Orville's bid. Don't hiss and boo. I think he is a walking computer, the way he was doing that. Now, Sabrina, this is your showcase. Your showcase contains all of the prizes mentioned in our salute to famous hills. And our first famous hill is Blueberry Hill, sung by Fats Domino. And here's a copy of that hit, and with it goes this new stereo. <laughs> first, this record is one of Fats Domino's greatest hits and will probably become a real collector's record. Also, this stereo. A Zenith integrated stereo system with AM-FM radio, precision automatic record changer, both cassette and eight-track tape player recorders, plus Allegro tune port speakers from Zenith. Our next hill is the famous Beverly Hills of Los Angeles. And you'll find out more about Beverly Hills firsthand with this gift certificate for $1,000 to Gucci. <laughs> Now, here's a picture of Knob Hill, that famous hill in the center of an equally famous city, San Francisco. <laughs> we'll fly to the round trip air coach from Los Angeles to San Francisco for a six night stay with breakfast at the Hyatt on Union Square, located in the heart of cosmopolitan downtown, where you receive the attention and service of a fine European hotel, the Hyatt on Union Square in San Francisco. Only one set of hills is left in our book. 
And it's the Seven Hills of Rome! Uh, <laughs> From San Francisco down to Rome, Italy, for a six-night stay modified American plan at the Hotel Atlante in Rome. You'll enjoy a lovely room with private terrace and delicious meals with a Roman and international flavor. Located within walking distance of St. Peter's, the Hotel Atlante of Rome. And this showcase, a salute to famous hills, can be yours if the price is right. Sabrina, I want you to think it over for a moment. Do some quick addition and give me your bid on that showcase, please. $56. $5,600 is her bid on that showcase. Orville bid $5,000 on his. Which one of these contestants is bid closer to the retail price? We'll find out in a moment. Right now, let's see this. Orville, you bid $5,000 on your showcase, and the actual retail price is $9,035 for a difference of $4,035. You must wow. be closer, Sabrina, without going over to win your showcase. You gave us a bid of $5,600, and the actual retail price of your showcase is $5,602. She missed that $2. She speaking for the price is right a Mark Goodson Bill Todman production please stay tuned for search for tomorrow one half hour from now on most of these CBS stations Stay tuned for the wackiest moments in game shows. GSN Game World is next. Then get ready to match the year with Marianne Curran and Super Decades, only on Game Show Network.